Health Resource Anatomy and Physiology Immune System Q&A. Introduction to the Immune System. Ta's Introduction to the Immune System Source. Contact Report 813. I can gladly do that and say that the immune system of the human being and all those living beings that have it is the factor that largely determines the health of the whole body, but is not absolutely responsible for providing a complete defense against every infection in full effectiveness. This is because other decisive factors besides the immune system are important for a pathogen to penetrate and cause an infection so I will limit myself to a more detailed explanation concerning the immune system, which is universally of equal value. The body of the human being, as well as of all life forms, is constantly exposed to attacks from environmental influences, parasites, bacteria, viruses, fungi, microbes, and toxins, etc., which lurk everywhere. Without the body's own defense system, the majority of all life forms would be defenseless against the attacks of these disease influencers. The immune system acts defensively against the attackers and prevents infections, normally rejecting the pathogens that could enter the body from the outside and make it sick. The body's immune system is mainly distributed among the cells and organs, each of which has specific tasks in the complex system and the defense against pathogens. The following can be mentioned. The cells and organs of the immune system. Mucous membranes. Source, contact report, 813. The mucous membranes are mainly endangered by the penetration of pathogens, that is to say, the causes of infections, but also the throat, the nose, and the intestines, and ultimately also the skin. Spleen source. Contact Report 813 The organ spleen has to fulfill functions of immune defense, namely with regard to the multiplication of white blood cells, the so-called lymphocytes, whereby overaged red blood cells are also secreted via the spleen. But it also stores defense cells, which are then supplied to the body when an immune defense is necessary. Bone marrow and blood cells contact. Report 813. A few defense cells are also produced as precursors in the bone marrow. Tonsils contact report 813. 4. Then the tonsils also have an initial defense function against externally invading pathogens. Lymph nodes and lymph node pathways. Contact report 813. 5. The lymph nodes and lymph node tracts simultaneously form a collection point for defense cells and antibodies. Thymus Contact Report 813 6. Above the heart is the primary lymphatic organ, the thymus or glandular tissue, which as part of the lymphatic system stores the mature defense cells or T cells. The Immune System Lines of Defense Contact Report 813. The immune system has two different types of bacteria and lines of defense for the defense against pathogens. Firstly, the body's own immune system, which is based on two pillars or two lines of defense, namely the natural immune system, and secondly, the immune system learned and acquired by the body. So there are the two following systems. Natural, non-specific, or innate immune system source. Contact Report 813. 1. The natural immune system that is to say adaptive, that is to say non-specific immune system, which is inherent and innate to the human being, as to every other life form carrying an immune system. Specific. Acquired or adaptive immune system contact report 813. The external protective function. 1. The external protective function is formed by the skin and the mucous membranes, which in their function and existence are also called mechanical barriers, which protect the human body purely mechanically. Source. Contact Report 813.
This external barrier consists of body fluids as well as the body's own chemical substances that prevent the deposition of invading pathogens, such as bacteria and viruses, by immediately directing or flushing them away from the body. The main substances of this chemical barrier are the cilia of the bronchial tubes, but also the intestinal musculature, which, due to their constant movement, are responsible for ensuring that no bacteria or other pathogenic germs can be deposited in the bronchial tubes or in the intestines. Saliva, eye fluid, vaginal fluid, urine, gastric juice. The Internal Protective Function Contact Report 813. 2. The inner protective function, on the other hand, is exercised by the chemical barrier. Source. Contact Report 813. The substances that are available to the chemical barrier for defense or to prevent the invasion of pathogens are the phagocytes and killer cells, which are naturally given. Both types are constantly active in the cellular defense within the scope of their capacity. Consequently, they directly take up pathogens and foreign bodies, destroy them, or transport them away. Phagocytes. Source. Contact Report 813. 1. Phagocytes belong to the leukocytes or white blood cells, which eat up the pathogen, after which what remains of it is transported to the cell surface, where the specific immune system then also carries out the further immune defense assigned to it. 